All right, guys. Look, today I'm going to um, explain to you how the Wii U is at least 2.5 times as powerful as the Xbox 360 and PS3. Uh, in one respect, anyway. Um, not in terms of graphics as such, but um, but it's interesting. I'll, I'll talk to you guys about um, the resolution about the Wii U, of the Wii U and uh, how that compares. And um, and yeah, I'll, I'll hopefully be able to show you how it is about 2.5 times as powerful as the 360 and PS3. Um, now, for you guys that don't know much about resolutions, don't know much about like pixels and TVs and 1080p and all these kinds of you know keywords and buzzwords that get thrown around, I'm going to start from the beginning, and hopefully you guys are going to be able to follow me through it, and you should be able to understand it by the end of it. And hopefully, I won't leave anything out, and uh, and I don't go too fast. Okay, before I start, I do need to start off by talking about some terminology. I need to cover what a pixel is and what resolution is. Um, so the, let's start off. Basically, when you have a TV, okay, you've got something like this. And on the TV, if you go really close up and have a look, um, even a computer monitor will do, you've got all little dots, um, little squares or little dots on the screen that make up the image. Okay, I'm just going to draw some little squares here. And you've got lots and lots and lots of them all across the image and all around the image, not just around the edges, but everything. And that's what makes up your screen. That's basically how your TV displays a picture on the screen. These little dots and things are called pixels. Okay, that's what they are, pixels. Now, the number of pixels that you have in on the screen is what is called the resolution. Okay, that's what the number of pixels are. And typically these days, on uh, you know any TV that you pretty much buy that's like above 46 inches or something like that, plasma, even even 32 inch TVs have. Um, the same thing. Um, these days, pretty much all the TVs have about 1,920 pixels that go across the screen. And if you count all the pixels from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen, there's 1,080 pixels. Okay, and this is what we call a 1080p HD TV. Okay. And that's the number of pixels there are. And if you actually count all the pixels, you don't have to. You can just use very simple math. And you can actually figure it out. It's got 2 million, about 2 million, a little over 2 million pixels on the whole screen. Pixels. Pixels. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind my spelling. It sucks. Okay. So we've got 2 million pixels on the screen. And that's basically how our image uh, is displayed on the screen. And those pixels can actually be, um, they can change their color. Okay depending on what they need to display on the screen. They can change to from like from red, um, they can be red, they can be green, they can be blue, or they can be white, and they can also be black. And if you combine all of those colors on the screen, that's actually what creates your image. All right, so now that we know that, we can move straight on. Okay, the Wii. Let's start off with the Wii. We'll talk about how the Wii actually creates the game image and how it gets sent to the TV. So we have our Wii, we have our TV, okay, and that's our 1920 by 1080 TV. So we got 1080 and we got 1920, okay. Now, basically the way the Wii renders your games is like this. So, so when you put a game in, the Wii, oops, don't know what happened there. When you put a game in, the Wii pretty much starts creating the game, okay, inside itself. And when it creates the game, it then sends it across a cable to the TV, and then the TV displays what the Wii created. <clears throat> now let's have a look at what the Wii actually creates. Inside the console, <coughs> excuse me, inside the console, the Wii will create a picture. Okay, it'll create an image, it'll create video, whatever we're doing, whatever game we're playing, it'll create it. Now when it creates that game, it'll create it at this resolution. Remember, resolution is the number of pixels. It'll create it at a resolution of 720 pixels across and 480 pixels up and down. And that basically is our image. Okay. Now when that image gets sent across to the screen, to the TV, through our cable, okay, um, the TV has this image and it needs to display it on the screen. 
Now the thing is, if you notice here, the resolution across for the Wii is only 720, but the TV's resolution across is 1920, so it's quite a bit more. So somehow, the TV has to fit this image to the screen. If it didn't, then what would happen is you just have a picture that sits in the center of the screen like this. Okay? This picture is this one. And it would just sit there in the center of the screen, and the rest of the screen would just be black. And the only thing we'd be able to see is this. That's it. That'd be the game. And everything else would be black. And that would really suck, because, I mean, like, if you had a really big TV, you know, what would be the point if, like, the image in the center is so small and you, you can't really see it? So what the TV does is it goes, oh, okay, that image is really small. You know, we know people don't like to see it really small, so what we'll do is we'll stretch it. So the TV stretches it in all directions. Okay. And that way it can fill the whole screen. And after it's stretched it, it actually fills the entire screen, which is good. That's how we like it. Now this process is what we call upscaling. And um, the TV does it pretty, it has to do it pretty quickly, otherwise there'll be a delay, you know, from what we see on the on the screen and what we're actually pushing on, on the controller. And so it has to do it really, really fast. And um, the quality isn't very good because it has to do it so fast. And the processor inside the TV, there's actually all little chips and things inside the TV that do this upscaling process. You know, they're not very good because the TV is already quite expensive and you're already paying for like the Wi-Fi in there if there's Wi-Fi and you know, you're paying for the whole screen, all the glass and all the stuff. So it's quite expensive. So, um, you know, they don't put a very expensive processor in there and the processor doesn't result in very good quality. So what happens is, you know, typically if you put a Wii on like a full HD TV, like a plasma or something, you notice the picture is quite blurry. It's not very nice to look at. Okay, so that's how the Wii is displayed on a full 1080p screen. What about an Xbox 360 and PS3? Okay, I'm going to use the Xbox 360 as an example, but this also applies to the PS3. Okay, the difference with the PS3 and 360 is like is this. With the Wii, we had a very small image. Okay, we had something like you know, something like this, and that was the Wii image, and we had to stretch it quite a bit to get to the full screen. Remember, the original image was really small, so we had to stretch it a lot to fill the whole screen. Okay, with the 360, it's a bit different. In the 360, the game actually is created or rendered, if you like, at a higher resolution than the Wii. It's rendered at a resolution, rendered at a resolution of 1280 across and 720 up and down. Remember, if you remember the Wii, it was 720 across and 480 up and down. So it's quite a bit smaller. And you can see this square here is smaller than this square here, a rectangle, sorry. So, you know, we got, we got a bigger picture to start off with with the Xbox 360, which is good. Why is it good? Because when we send that picture across the cable, okay, so with the Xbox 360, we can hook it up with HDMI or a component or whatever. So when we send that across, we, we actually have a bigger picture to start off with. And so you'll see that the amount of stretching that we need to do is less. See the red lines are smaller than the blue lines, the arrows, because we don't have to stretch it as far. So because we don't have to stretch it as much, we actually end up getting a much clearer, better image because there's less, the image has to be stretched far less than it does on the Wii. So the image has, is like a, a sharper image, it's nicer, it doesn't have to be stretched as much. That's what we like. Okay. But there's something else the Xbox 360 does. The Xbox 360 does something pretty clever, actually. And I'll show you what it does. Remember what I said earlier about the TV upscaling image? You know, the cheap processor that they put in there because, you know, you've already got a whole bunch of other stuff that's in the TV. Isn't very good. The quality is not very good when it upscales the image to fill the whole screen. Okay? I tell you, this is what the 360 does to get around that problem. Okay, it's actually pretty smart. And the 360, the PS3 does it as well. But the 360 actually does it a bit better. Here's what it does. I'll clean this up. Okay. Now remember, when the 360 renders the game, it originally renders it at this resolution. 
okay which we know obviously doesn't fill the entire TV it has to be stretched now what we'll do what the 360 actually does is it goes oh okay I know this little picture here doesn't fill the whole TV okay you can tell that you can tell the 360 that you have a full 1080p screen okay a full 1080p screen and the 360 goes, oh, okay, I know that now. So what I'll do is I'll I'll upscale the 360, I'll upscale the image before I send it to the TV. Okay. So instead of sending it in this size, what I'll do is I'll upscale it first. So this becomes this. The 360 will actually upscale the image first. Okay, and then it'll send it to the TV with the cable, through the cable. Because the 360 upscales it much better than the TV does. So what happens is, it gets to the TV in the full size. So then it just display the TV just goes, oh, okay, this is going to fill up the whole screen. So it just displays it in the full size. And that's it. Finished. So we get an even better quality, and this is what Dark EHD was talking about in his video, um, where he just called this as regular 1080p, and he said that the Wii U was true 1080p. So how is that? How is true 1080p different from regular 1080p? Well, true 1080p is different like this, and I'll explain that to you now. So the difference between the Wii U and the Xbox 360, um, actually before I move on just quickly, um, I just want to cover this real quick. The number of pixels, take note here that the number of pixels that the Xbox 360 actually creates an image at is 930,000 pixels. If you do 1280 times 720, you get 930 pixels, 930,000 pixels, sorry. Okay, so that's important to know. Okay, now let's see what happens with the Wii U. Let me just move on. Okay, so with the Wii U, we got something a little differently. With the Wii U, and this is where the Wii U really shines. And we got our screen again. And that's 1920 by 1080. Okay. Now here's what happens with the Wii U. The Wii U, when it creates the games inside, from what we've been told through Activision with Black Ops 2, um, I believe a, uh, Ubisoft has said it with um, Assassin's Creed 3 and a few other developers, um, basically we've been told this, the Wii U actually renders the games initially at 1920 by 1080 Okay, so the games are actually created inside the Wii U at the full 1080p resolution. And that's the difference between the Wii U and the 360. That's the Wii U there. The 360 renders at 1280 by 720 a much lower resolution. And so then the games have to be stretched to fill the full TV. But with the Wii U, we don't have to worry about that because we originally have 1920 by 1080 and so then when the Wii U sends the image straight to the TV, it just sends it and it fills the screen and that's it. So in other words, with the Wii U across the cable, so in other words, with the Wii U, we have no upscaling at all, which is great because, whoops, no upscaling, which is great because whenever you upscale, you know, you're, you don't have like a lot of detail and so it gets blurry and stuff but with the Wii U that won't happen because it'll fill the entire screen straight away without any upscaling at all what's more is that if you pay attention let me grab my oh, actually I don't need the calculator because I know the numbers so what's more is that the Wii U actually renders at this res full HD resolution here which is a total of like I said at the very beginning of the video about 2 million pixels which is heaps. Now compare that to the Xbox 360 and PS3, which is only 930,000. It's more than double. In fact, it's actually about two and a half times. And here's why. We were told recently that 
on Black uh, Activision said it actually during the um, the conference with the on the Wii U conference that they had just recently in New York. Activision said that one player can play on the screen at full 1080p. Uh, 19. I'll write it up in full. And they also said that one player can play in split screen. Uh, not split screen. Sorry, instead of split screen, they can play on the gamepad. Okay, that's the gamepad. And if you check it out now on uh, Wikipedia or whatever, you'll find that the gamepad resolution is 852 by 480. Now they said that the Wii U can actually do this simultaneously. You can be playing together at the same time. One person on the gamepad, one person on the TV. Okay, And they said that the Wii U can do this at 60 frames per second without dropping any frame rate at all. So we've got 2 million pixels here. And if you actually figure it out, on the gamepad, we have about 400,000 pixels. Uh, 400,000. It's a bit less than that, but on the TV, we actually have a bit more than 2 million as well. So if we add them all up together, we have something like about 2,400,000 pixels. Okay. Now compare, this is rendered from the Wii, and then when, it, this is before it gets sent to the TV, okay? Because remember, the Wii, uh, Wii U actually renders at 2 million pixels, and it will also render the gamepad directly at 480p as well, um, which is your 400,000 pixels. So altogether, we've got 2,400,000 pixels for the Wii U. Okay. For the 360 and PS3, games will render at about 1280 by 720, which I said earlier. So if we go up, so we have the 1280 by 720 which is 930,000 pixels. So that's 930,000 pixels. And that's the PS3 and 360. Now, if we do a little math, we get out the calculator. And we get 2,400,000. And we divide that by our 930,000. We get about 2.6, 2.58, 2.6, something like that. So that shows you that the Wii U is actually capable of doing about 2.6 times the same number of pixels as the 360 and PS3. So there you have it. The Wii U is actually about 2.6 times as powerful as the 360 and PS3. Or is it? Well, it's not actually quite... 2.6 times as powerful, but it's able to push 2.6 times as many pixels, which is quite impressive. So in a way, it's actually sort of maybe 2.6 times as powerful. Um, but in terms of the actual graphics, perhaps it's not. But the increased RAM and the better GPU that's in there um, actually allow it to be able to push those number of pixels. Whereas with the 316 PS3, there's no way it'd ever be able to push the 2.4 million pixels of the Wii you can push. Um, in, for example, Black Ops 2. There's just no way that could ever happen. And so that pretty much sums it up, guys. I mean, that shows it straight there that the Wii U is capable of a much crisper, cleaner image. Um, the more pixels you have, the sharper the image is on the screen. And um, the Wii U, remember, doesn't require any upscaling at all, whereas the PS3 and 360 do. Now, of course, this is all going to change next year when the three, uh, 360's successor comes out and when the PS4 or whatever it's going to be called comes out as well. But for now, at least for the next year or so, uh, Nintendo are going to enjoy quite a bit of an advantage over Microsoft and Sony. Well, look, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. If you have any questions, be sure to leave something in the, um, in the comments below. And if you have stayed all the way to the end of this video, then maybe, you know, you probably should hit that like button because, um, you know, I really appreciate that. Okay, guys, again, thanks very much, and that's it. I'll see you guys later.